John Hine was telling me he's not even impressed by JD's card collection. He, says, <laughs> oh, he, he no. gave it a four. He gave it a four out of ten. He goes, "It's not even good. Oh, like, he doesn't even he have doesn't good cards." He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> JD gets very defensive Ooh. about this. Like he's the authority when it comes. To, uh, I'm I, not an authority. I just know what I have. All right, JD I, has almost. Okay, he's logged almost six thousand cards in the database <gasps> at this point. Wow. And he's he's got thirty one <laughs> Tiger Woods cards. Okay. Well, yeah, I got a set. I found a set of cards. So that's cards. Only, that's thirty of them. But JD looks at this as an investment. He believes. Yeah. Believes that over time it will grow in value and he'll be able to cash in on it. No. I have the cards Stupid. in the database. These are cards I, you know, when I was a kid growing up, I just wanted right. to see what I had and log them more for that reason. John, stop getting into my head. I know what there are some for sure that might be an investment, but that's not why I'm doing it for the most part. But what are you doing it for? I mean, I like it. Part. It makes me happy. I like seeing some of them and, you know. Some of them are on display right behind JD. Yeah, I have all of these Joe Burrow cards since it's football season. I put Joe Burrow and Bengals cards back there. And what'd you do? You, you and you put them in a little frame? Uh well no, some have been graded already, so by a grading company. So they they, they put them in there. But but nice. Howard, he takes this attitude, like I show him like an old card I have, and he's like Oh, the corners are bent, and it's, <laughs> it's this. It's not worth anything. He, he just takes his elitist attitude towards cards. You know, oh, that's just with you, John. I'm trying to help you out, too. I'm trying to be, be a friend. In my mind, there's a guy who owns a card company. He could print out a million of these cards. He's well, controlling them. The guy who owns the card company is controlling the market. If he wants to have 50,000 Tiger Woods cards, he could just print them out. I mean, that's what the big thing is now. Uh, with cards is they're doing them. There's some are being given serial numbers. So they only, you know, there's only so many <laughs> made out of 50, you know, yeah. uh, fi you know, yeah. 50 of a certain card was made. What's the best card you have? Oh, I don't, uh, I mean, the Tiger Woods one is pretty good. Um, How much has it appreciated since you bought it? Well, listen, it, <clears throat> I guarantee I got you it for, can't even get 70 bucks for it. Well, <laughs> and I, could Robin, these are these are long term investments. <laughs> Why not invest in a house? Instead well, I am doing that. How much money do you think you've spent on cards? If you got six thousand cards. Oh, overall. Well, hold on. Some overall. I got. You know, overall. Some I got when I was a kid. You think it's ten thousand bucks? No, I don't think it's quite that much. John, what has he got? Over time, yeah, I think he spent at least ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, over time, sure. <laughs> Recently, you know what he could do? He could he could take the cards. And glue them together into the shape of a house and then live in the cards. <laughs> I'm with you, Howard. I tell him, like, financially, this isn't going to do it for you. If I'm not it doing it financially. Cards, that's great. But if you think you're going to make, like, this big killing on your 28 Ken Griffey Jr. cards or whatever other you know, crappy Cincinnati Red you got, oh, it's just off. not going to work. Hit him with the high. All right. I, enough of JD. I mean, I don't mean to. That was fascinating, get... though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thanks for the look into your private life. <laughs> Thanks. John, keep tabs on him. I don't have time oh, to yeah, he him. is. Trust always, me. Yeah. Always, Howard. <laughs>